Okay, there's been a rattling coming out of the front. Sounds like a tin can. I thought it's the dust cover going round the uh, brake disc, but suddenly clicked. It's probably the hub dust cover, so I need to take the caliper off. It's a Brembo one, and it's, I need to take the disc off and just probably, well, hopefully check the clearance. This is a uh, 2007 3.6 V8 Range Rover um, sign says. and uh, yeah let's see how it goes so wheel, <coughs> wheel off that much sheet off but it's really just for installation because the actual disc held on by these wheel bolts it's a Brembo caliper very heavy duty I'm just going to take the caliper, fix bolts off and take that off, take this off. Let's see. So here's the, the cover. It's good clearance around here. And then you get to there. And it's touching. So that is what's making the scraping. So I need to ensure that there's clearance everywhere. I'll get the screwdriver in and bang it a bit. But uh, that's it. So, um, caliper bolts are 16 mil cross flat, but 16 mil socket. It's pretty standard, I think, most cars. Doing it's just going around each bit, it's slightly prising it. To give it a gap, obviously. Yeah, a bit there. Make sure, obviously, it doesn't touch inside there. But that should sort the problem. Just don't want to overdo it. Right. So I was just prizing it, and there is a little pebble inside. Yeah. How it got in, I do not know. This is just <coughs> press fitted on, so I just need to knock this back. Get the pebble out, knock it back on. So I've just done it in this cover. It's like so. That's it, hopefully. So I think what it was is it's the stud of this fixing when it sheared off. It's just over time come undone. As the tension went, it's just once you cut the end of the, the head off a screw or bolt, it's a lot easier to undo. And it's just fallen inside, and that's been rattling around. There. So hopefully, that's it. Let's get it out that one. There. There Shot off into space. I think that's about it. Okay, so problem solved. We're moving it into the stud sorted it. Basically, you need to know what you're doing if you're working on brakes so don't start working on them without knowledge um, we'll get someone else to do it that's professional or experienced that's it